guys hope everybody's doing good out there today and thanks for taking a few minutes to check out the video this afternoon much appreciated and just out here been getting the boat loaded up getting ready to head out tomorrow for the uh, Bassmaster open on Smith Lake and uh, man it's been a while it's just like this uh, we've uh, they had a couple of tournament cancellations because of high water uh, this past spring so they rescheduled them to the October so um, I've got three big tournaments coming up here in the month of October I got two Bassmaster opens and then the uh, Toyota Series Championship, the last week of October. So man, it's gonna be a, a busy month for me. And uh, it's been a long time since I fished a tournament. I, the last tournament we fished was the uh, last Toyota Series at Lake Dardanelle, first week of May. So man, I've had a long break, which is unusual for this time of year. But anyway, just been working on some Smith Lake Tackle. Gonna give you guys a little uh, pre-practice uh, discussion about the tournament um i'll pre i'll keep you guys updated all week long I'll, I'll let you guys know how my practice is going i'll probably try to film the practice let you guys i'll try to film the tournament and just give you guys a good overview of what how smith lake goes for me and maybe you guys can learn something from the uh the mistakes i make or the good decisions i make hopefully the good decisions i make but i fished smith lake quite a bit in the past we've had i fished a lot of Bassmaster events there, a lot of FLW events, and uh, I like the lake a lot. It's a it's a clear water, uh, deep water spotted bass lake primarily. Um, sets up a lot, like a lot of the Ozark lakes that you know I fish a lot. So I'm real com I'm real comfortable fishing Smith Lake. Smith Lake, it's if you guys have never been there before, uh, one of the biggest features of the thing is the boat docks on it. You just got thousands and thousands of boat docks and these are floating docks a lot of them are over deeper water and uh they're, they play a key role uh, in tournaments all the time there you know 12 months out of the year and i look for them to play a key role in this tournament too but sort of my overview of the tournament here what i'm thinking of is everybody has different uh ways that they go into a big tournament like this now for me the first Bassmaster Open at uh, Lake Pickwick we fished. I caught limits both day of the tournaments, but they were small limits. And I finished like 90 something place. So realistically, that since we're only taking three people to the Elite Series, that takes me out of it. I, I could probably win both tournaments and still not qualify in the top three because in order to get in the top three in those tournaments, you basically got to get three top tens to make them. So given that in this tournament i don't have anything to lose except trying to you know win the tournament to qualify for the bassmaster classic because the winner of each tournament gets to go to it and that is my focus in this tournament if i was fishing for points in this tournament and if i if, say if i had finished in the top 15 or so at the first tournament i'd approach this tournament completely different trying to you know just get a good high finish but here you know it's I've, i'm gonna focus completely on what i think are the two or three different techniques that could probably win this tournament and it how i've done that in this tournament is i purposely pack stuff that i feel only has a chance to win the tournament a, a bunch of the stuff here in my tackle room that i normally would take i didn't even take it with me i just i left it here because i don't want to go down there and 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 basically try go for try for big fish for half a day of practice and get discouraged and then pull out something that i think i can catch a limit on <clears throat> which takes me out of winning the tournament so i've packed my boat specifically to catch those bigger type fish um i think there's probably you know a hat well anywhere between three to six ways this tournament can get one and a lot of it is dependent upon two factors it's dependent upon the weather we have leading up to the tournament and during the tournament throughout the course of the tournament and it's dependent upon fishing pressure on smith lake is a small lake it's only twenty some thousand acres um so you put a big bassmaster open field on it and that has an impact on the fishing just the same way the coal front or something was so um given that particular thing going into this tournament i think there could be some i think you could win this tournament deep i think you could win it suspended for suspended bass and i think it could get one shallow i think there's three different options on that in my case for this tournament um i'm probably going to target the suspended fish and the shallow fish i don't think i'm going to go for the deeper fish i'm real familiar with fishing for suspended bass in clear water spotted bass lakes so i know what it takes to catch them 
So I'm going to have two and a half days to practice. I'm leaving tomorrow. I've got to do a promotion at Bridgeford for Bridgeford Foods tomorrow night down in Jasper, Texas. Um, so I'll have you know, a little over two days to practice, which uh, I know a lot of guys are probably already down there practicing, but um, it's just hard to get away from the house, you know, when you got, you know, three boys at the house and a little one. So, uh, but that's plenty of time because I, I like, sometimes I like a short practice because that forces you to really key in on focus on specific things and you don't get spread out so much. So sometimes it works out pretty good. But anyway, guys, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'll give you a report after the first day of practice, let you know how it's going throughout the course of the tournament. Um, I, you know, until I get down there and really see how the lake lays out, it's hard to get any more specifics, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on it. And I appreciate you guys following me for the week, tuning in, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good tournament here and we can all learn something from it. So talk to you all later.